The Fairchild Channel F, short for Channel Fun, was the first video game console to use ROM cartridges, instead of having games built in, and the first console to use a microprocessor. It was released by Fairchild Camera and Instrument in November 1976 across North America at a retail price of 169 US dollars. 95. It was launched as the video entertainment system, but when Atari Incorporated released its video computer system the next year, Fairchild rebranded their machine as Channel F while keeping the video entertainment system descriptor. The Fairchild Channel F achieved only about 350,000 units before Fairchild sold the technology to Zircon International in 1979, trailing well behind the VCS. The system was discontinued in 1983. In 1974, Alpex Computer Corporation employees Wallace Kirshner and Lawrence Haskell developed a home video game prototype consisting of a base unit centered on an Intel 8080 microprocessor and interchangeable circuit boards containing ROM chips that could be plugged into the base unit. The duo attempted to interest several television manufacturers in the system, but were unsuccessful. Next, they contacted a buyer at Fairchild, which sent engineer Jerry Lawson to evaluate the system. Lawson was impressed by the system and suggested Fairchild license the technology, which the company did in January 1976. Lawson worked with industrial designer Nick Tailsfor and mechanical engineer Ron Smith to turn the prototype into a viable project. Jerry Lawson replaced the 8080 with Fairchild's own F8 CPU, while Nick Tailsfor and Ron Smith were responsible for adapting the prototype's complex keyboard controls into a single control stick and encasing the ROM circuit boards into plastic cartridges reminiscent of 8-track tapes. Tails4, providing industrial design, and Ron Smith, providing mechanical engineering, collaborated on the styling and function of the 8 degrees of freedom hand controller. They were responsible for the design of the hand controllers, console, and video game cartridges. In addition to providing the ID for this system, Tails4 also art-directed Tom Kamafuji the graphic designer who did the original graphic design for the early video cartridges cartons. The system was also released in Japan in October 1977. Channel F System 2 Sometime in 1979, Zircon International bought the rights to the Channel F and released the redesigned console as the Channel F System 2 to compete with Atari's VCS. This redesigned System 2 was completed by Nick Tails for at Fairchild. The major difference this time around, however, was the absence of Lawson, as he went on to start his own company. In the aftermath, Channel F2 struggled immensely, managing to only release six new games after the debut of the second system before its eventual demise, several of these were developed at Fairchild before they sold it off. The major changes were in design, with the controllers being removable from the base unit instead of being wired directly into it, the controller storage was moved to the rear of the unit and the sound was now mixed into the RF TV signal so the unit no longer needed a speaker. Electronics were also simplified, with custom logic chips instead of standard logic, resulting in a much smaller circuit board. This version also featured a simpler and more modern-looking case design. A number of licensed versions were released in Europe, including the Luxor Video Entertainment System in Sweden, Adman Grandstand Video Entertainment Computer in the UK, the Saba Video Play. ITT Telematch Processor and Nordmende Color Teleplay MuP from Germany, and the Dumont Videoplay and Barco Challenger from the Barco slash Dumont Company in Italy and Belgium. Nordmende Color Teleplay MuP Adman Grandstand Video Entertainment Computer Luxor Video Entertainment Computer Saba Videoplay The Palette of the Channel. F the F8 was very complex compared to the typical integrated circuits of the day and had more inputs and outputs than other contemporary chips. Because chip packaging was not initially available with enough pins, the F8 used in the original form of the vase slash channel F was instead fabricated as a pair of chips that had to be used together to form a complete CPU. However, due to the F8's design, there was a considerable savings in terms of pins that enabled the inclusion of 64 bytes of internal scratchpad RAM. A single chip variant of the F8 was used by both the System 2 and the Video Brain computer system. The Channel F is able to use one plane of graphics and one of four background colors per line, with three plot colors to choose from that turned into white if the background is set to black. At a resolution of 128 times 64, with approximately 102 times 58 pixels visible and help from 64 bytes of system RAM, half the amount of the later Atari 2600. The maze game required 1K of on-cartridge static RAM, adding to the cost to manufacture it. 
The chess game contained considerably more on cartridge RAM than that. The F8 processor at the heart of the console is able to produce enough AI to allow for player versus computer matches, a first in console history. All previous machines required a human opponent. Tic Tac Toe on Video Cart 1 had this feature, it was only for one player against the machine. The same is true for the chess game, which would have very long turn times for the computer as the game progressed. In the original unit, sound is played through an internal speaker, rather than the TV set. However, the System 2 passed sound to the television through the RF modulator. The Channel F is also the first video game console to feature a pause function. There is a hold button on the main unit of the console which allows players to freeze the game and change several game settings in the meantime. The controllers are a joystick without a base, the main body is a large hand grip with a triangular cap on top, the top being the portion that actually moved for 8-way directional control. It could be used as both a joystick and paddle, and not only could it be pushed down to operate as a fire button, it could be pulled up as well. The Model 1 unit contained a small compartment for storing the controllers when moving it. The System 2 featured detachable controllers and had two holders at the back to win the cable around and to store the controller in. Zircon later offered a special control that featured an action button on the front of the joystick. It was marketed by Zircon as Channel F Jet Stick in a letter sent out to registered owners before Christmas 1982. The functions printed on the console is how they work in the built-in games and also some of the original games, all buttons are controlled by the programming and can be used for anything the programmer decides. One feature unique of the console is the hold button, which allows the player to freeze the game, change the time or change the speed of the game. The hold function is not universal. Despite the failure of the Channel F, the joystick's design was so popular, Creative Computing called it outstanding, that Zircon also released an Atari joystick port compatible version. The Video Command Joystick, first released without the extra fire button. Before that, only the downwards plunge motion was connected and acted as the fire button, the pull-up and twist actions were not connected to anything. PCB scan of the Grandstand Video Entertainment Computer 27 cartridges, termed video carts, were officially released to consumers in the United States during the ownership of Fairchild and Zircon. The first 21 of which were released by Fairchild. Several of these cartridges were capable of playing more than one game and were typically priced at $19. 95. The video carts were yellow and approximately the size and overall texture of an 8-track cartridge. They usually featured colorful label artwork. The earlier artwork was created by nationally known artist Tom Kamafuji and art directed by Nick Tailsfor. The console contained two built-in games, tennis and hockey, which were both advanced pawn clones. In hockey, the reflecting bar could be changed to diagonals by twisting the controller and could move all over the playing field. Tennis was much like the original pawn. A sales brochure from 1978 listed keyboard video cards for sale. The three shown were K1 Casino Poker, K2 Space Odyssey, and K3 Pro Football. These were intended to use the keyboard accessory. All further brochures, released after Zircon took over Fairchild, never listed this accessory nor anything called a keyboard video card. There was one additional cartridge released numbered Video Cart 51 and simply titled Demo 1. This video cart was shown in a single sales brochure released shortly after Zircon acquired the company. It was never listed for sale after the single brochure which was used in the winter of 1979. Unreleased carts, German electronics manufacturer Saba also released a few compatible carts different from the original carts, translation in video cart 1 tic-tac-toe to German words. Video cart 3 released with different abbreviations and video cart 18 changed graphics and German word list. A clone of Pac-Man for the Channel F was released in 2009. In 2021, a number of new homebrew games were released on itch. IO by retro developer Arlasoft. These included ports of mobile puzzle games Tents and Trees, 2048 and Threes, as well as a port of the classic arcade shooter Centipede. Gamers playing on a Fairchild Channel F at a conference in 1977. The Channel F had beaten the Atari VCS to the market, but once the VCS was released, sales of the Channel F fell, attributed to the types of games that were offered. Most of the Channel F titles were slow-paced educational and intellectual games, compared to the action-driven games that launched with the VCS. Even with the redesigned Channel F2 in 1978, Fairchild was unable to meet the sales that the VCS and its games were generating. By the time Fairchild sold the technology to Zircon in 1979, 
around 350,000 total units were sold. Ken Houston reviewed 32 games in his book Ken Houston's Guide to Buying and Beating the Home Video Games in 1982, and rated some of the Channel F's titles highly. Of these, Alien Invasion and Video Whizball were considered by Houston to be the finest adult cartridges currently available for the Fairchild Channel F system. The games on a whole, however, rated last on his survey of over 200 games for the Atari, Intellivision, Astrocade and Odyssey consoles, and contemporary games were rated average with future Channel F games rated below average. Houston rated almost one half of the Channel F games as high in interest and called that an impressive proportion and further noted that some of the Channel F cartridges are timeless, no matter what technological developments occur. They will continue to be of interest. His overall conclusion was that the games serve a limited, but useful, purpose and that the strength of the Channel F offering is in its excellent educational line for children. In 1983, after Zircon announced its discontinuation of the Channel F, Video Games reviewed the console. Calling it the system nobody knows, the magazine described its graphics and sounds as somewhat primitive by today's standards. It described Space War as perhaps the most antiquated game of its type still on the market, and rated the 25 games for the console with an average grade of 3 on a scale from 1 to 10. The magazine stated, however, that Fairchild managed to create some fascinating games, even by today's standards, calling Casino Royale the best card game, from blackjack to bridge, made for any TV game system. It also favorably reviewed Dodge It, Robot War, and Whizball, thoroughly original, hockey with guns, but concluded that only those interested in nostalgia, video game collecting, or card games would purchase the Channel F in 1983. Thanks for watching.